We're here again at uh, ACP 2023 in New Orleans, Louisiana with Gio Chaudon from 3S Lift. If you don't know 3S Lift, you're missing out on so much. Uh, 3S Lift is about saving technicians and making sure they get up and down uh, towers safely and, and uh, efficiently. Gio, welcome back to the program, actually. Thank you for yeah. having me, Alan, Joel. Nice Absolutely. to meet you. You as well. You know. This has been a really busy show compared to San Antonio last year. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think roughly double the amount of people from what I can tell. You, I assume you guys have been busy. I've been by your booth a couple of times. There's a lot of people thinking about technicians this week. I think people have to be thinking about technicians. If you, yes. if you, yeah. if you look backwards and you look forwards in terms of the operational existing towers, you have to think about technicians for your existing yeah. fleets. Yeah. You look at the forward projections of the, the, the build out plan, you have to think about who are the people that are going to work at these places. Yeah. Um, you know, last time we talked about the, the competition, indirect competition, that some of these workers could go be an Amazon truck driver and make 25 or 30 yeah, bucks yeah, an hour. Yeah, they don't have to climb a wind turbine yeah. tower. Yeah. You know, that's tough. Work. So there's some competition out there, not just inside the industry, but certainly outside. So we know that like across the industry, of course, it's been the word for a long time. We've talked to a lot of people around the show about just the shortage of technicians. Yeah. Right. And, every, oh, yeah. and and you're starting to see, which is great. A lot of companies pop up training. Right. Hey, we're opening a GWO training center. We're opening this training center. We're going to there's a blade repair center opening up in, in Tennessee. So that's fantastic to bolster the whole fill of, of technicians into the industry. But once they're there. So 3S Lift is taking care of them in another step. I think, I think one, you know, workforce development is is something that we talk about a lot. Our customers are talking about a lot. You, you, the the recruitment, like you're talking about, is is step one, and yeah. the retention is really the hardest part. Yeah. Right. Um, you could recruit people with probably a good paying job and an exciting job to go up and down a tower, and you get to do mechanical electrical work. Um, Every there's six months, maybe. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> it's, hard. It's, yeah hard. it's hard. It's hard. It's a war of attrition, right? It is. Indeed has 700 and something open wind tech jobs today in, yeah, right in now, America, yeah. right now. Yeah. Um, and, you know, our, our product is Climb Auto System Lift, retrofittable to every ladder. Um, we see customers improving their ability to retain techs. Yeah. And, 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 and that's, you know, ultimately that's leading to an improvement in operational efficiency too, right? right. Yep. Keep the people longer, keep them happier at their job, yep. which is hard to yep. do, yeah. um, and they're probably gonna do better at it. And I think we've seen some data that, that proves that. You know? Yeah, off air, you had mentioned morale. Morale on, on a oh. team, right? Yeah. You may, have, you may have traveling groups that come in, like the blade repair guys bounce from site to site to site. You know how happy they are to show up on a site when they're like, oh, man, this site's got lifts. Wow. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah, their, their days just got easier. Wow. Right. That and, uh, you know, we, we also talked about some places like they have resident uh, service technicians or an O&M contract where if they those guys get to go up and down a tower every day uh, on a lift, they would much rather do that than a climb assist or just climbing a ladder, you know. Yeah. Yeah. The ladders are tough. Even a short tower, 72 meters, 80 meters is that's a long ways. The majority of our retrofits are on 80 meter towers still. There you know, go. I mean, yeah, the repower sure. the repower boom happening now is a lot of those towers are 80 meters and what a better time to install a lift than yeah. when you're doing a repower. You're opening and up sometimes the Sometimes you can you can add to the the the, the sort of repower equation uh, to qualify by adding a lift. Um, you know, we, we we think that there's there's probably room for a lot more lifts in the field. We think that that um, new construction certainly there's options. There's service lifts. There's climb auto systems. Right. Um, we have uh, I think maybe 1,000 or more new construction units being installed this year. Nice. Whoa. Wow. Significant amount. Yeah. Good for yeah. you guys. Um, Six thousand total. By the end of the year, we'll have 10,000. So I, I don't know how many turbines are there. Seventy-three thousand. Seventy thousand. In the so we're, US. we're one. We'll be one seventh by the yeah, that's, end of the that's year. That's fifteen percent you know? market saturation. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, and I think you know the the eyes of the owner operators, and and not just the operators too, but the asset owners. Yeah, they have long term service agreements. They care about their ability to. Uh, they're not just putting back to the uh, O and M contract saying, "Well, it's your job. Figure it out." You know, yeah. let, let's work together. And I think that's that's a nice thing too, is seeing the collaboration between some of the owners and. the the operators on it, right? 
obviously in this conference, when I stop at different booths, you see a couple of different things. A lot of GWO training, which is all about safety. So a lot of the uh, maintenance groups are doing internal safety training. Yeah. Uh, when you talk to operators, one of the first things that pops up is safety. You see helmet companies, gear companies, uh, everybody is really concerned about safety because there's so few technicians, you can't afford to have somebody out and then the cost of that is extraordinary. You, you, you want to take care of your technicians at this point. Uh, there's a better massive push. 10 years ago, a little more Wild West I, I, sure. is the way I saw it, right? Uh, probably the way the world saw it. The, the technicians were kind of free to do their own thing a little bit, and sometimes safety lacks. And you see that on LinkedIn every once in a while. Yeah, you see still, some LinkedIn you still posts. see some random videos that are not like, now. No, 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 no. Yeah. So the, the tide has shifted yeah. a good deal into more safety, and I think that makes sense. And 3S Lift is part of that safety equation. As you mentioned GWO, we're, we're partnering with GWO safety um, uh, uh, trainers our lift, our climb auto system is in their training centers. Oh, that's genius. And they're yeah. starting to offer that as an add-on. Yeah. Sure. Right? So sure. Like, on this. Yeah. Yeah, certify it. Yeah. You know, we train them to provide a sort of co-branded certification um, as an add-on. It's not a it's not a GWO course, but it's right. performed by a GWO certified trainer. Okay. And it's an add-on. And yeah. and you know, the the safety piece is huge because we, we've seen, and you know, I've traveled to so many sites like you guys have, and you, you see um, sort of a unicorn when you see some of the older techs. And, you, and yeah. you're like, hey, hey, well, you've been here you've 10 or 12 years, like, yeah. how yeah. you doing? And, and some of the things we still hear, like, well, we've got a couple of knee surgeries, and yeah, that's pretty you know, I wish, this yeah. thing, I wish this thing was around 10 years ago. Yeah. That's what I hear, yeah. you know? Yeah. But it's here now, and right. I think, I hope, and we hope that Ten years from now, and we're visiting there, the 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 discussion's a little flipped, and it's really thankful that we got these lifts, and our company invested in our safety. Because mm -hmm. I wouldn't be here if right yeah, now, absolutely. you yeah. know, yeah. looking backwards. So I think that's a you know, and that's that's job. There's a job creation aspect, right? Yep. Job yes, sustainability. We're talking about you know, good paying jobs in um, areas that may not have a ton of opportunity and, yeah, and a lot of more what world. a better job to have yeah. and let's keep these people in those jobs older technicians demographics more women can can are right. we're seeing uh enabled yeah. to to be in yeah. the job yeah. yeah we've got a we've got a utility customer who's retiring coal plants and they're they have their own transitional program to take some of their coal tax and move them into wind oh that's cool and oh. and you know a, a, one of the things that's beneficial is to have a lift you know they're 50 years old yeah right been yeah. Around for a while. yeah i think of it like you know this is a this is an innovation we're seeing that you guys have put out 3s lift within the wind industry but if you think into the, the general industry i have a lot of friends that have bad backs and bad knees and they're 35 <laughs> and 40 right that have been pouring concrete and building homes and roofing and doing all these things yeah. their whole lives. And when things have come along within those industries, it changed the way they are. Yeah. You see the wheelbarrows with just like, they got electric batteries in them now? Yes. Well, like, man, when I was young and I was wheeling concrete, I wish I had that so much. I know. Right? So it's kind of the same concept, right? Well, the climate system, you remember when that was starting, right? Yeah. right? Um, you know, one of my first projects in 2010, there, was, there wasn't, climate systems weren't prevalent. Um, I think probably historically, maybe 13, 14, 15, they started to come around. And generally speaking, we're standard in the 15, 16 time frame. Um, and I kind of liken our lift now. I hope that that's the new standard. You know, I think from an operational cost effectiveness, it's, it's there. It's like I, I was doing like the BlackBerry yeah. iPhone analogy for Climb Assist to <laughs> yeah. our sure. lift. Yeah. Right? Like, the BlackBerry still, you probably still get away with it. Yeah. I know yeah. they're not making it anymore, probably, but look, a, a non smartphone is still effective in some way. Yeah, sure. I think that's the Climb Assist. I think you're still climbing, you know? Um, and and this, this eliminates that altogether. Yeah. yeah. Um, we, we met with some one of our customers who who works on the, the TS. Uh, uh, the lights on the top, I kept so I was thinking TSA. Uh, oh, the FAA. FAA. FAA lights, yeah. yeah. Were, he was doing a light, light change out. It's an hour job. Right. Okay. Yeah, but it's, <laughs> yeah. he, did, he can do four in a day. You could do 10 or 12 in a day with the lift. So think yeah. about the, the downward uh, or sort of downstream effect 
the efficiency of it. Not just on the owner operator, but some yeah. of the service providers. Well, the bottom line, right? Yeah. The O&M right. cost. All, all like you could quantify an ROI for it based on the fact that if I have to climb three towers a day to you know check the oil, you know do oil changes, okay? Now I can do five. Yep. Yeah. Right. So there's an ROI a bonus right there. Right? There is. There is. And I, you know, one of the other things I'll hit on. Maybe you got some other topics, but I went to the opening ceremony um, yesterday, and General Stan Mc. McChrystal. McChrystal. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, yeah. Stan McChrystal. Uh, he he talked about culture, and you know, I having been in this role with 3S for five years and seen us grow from zero installations to six thousand. I've seen the development of those cultures ebb and flow over time. And he defined culture, I think, in some way of, of a, a subset or a combination of the behaviors of the employees at a company, right? How do right. they behave? That yeah. is your culture. Yep. Ultimately, this product helps the technicians and they will feel uh, valued, you know? Yeah. They will feel valued. And, and that is a, that is a, a feeling of gratefulness that you want to work for those companies. And we've seen the companies that are investing in this product having uh, a lot more applications to go work for them. Um, their culture, their morale collectively is is improving. And I think they're seeing the benefit of that operationally, financially as well. Yeah, you know, absolutely. It's kind of a full circle. You know? Yeah, wait until we get offshore and the towers are 160 meters. I know. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> They're going to have huge, huge service lifts that take three people up at a time. You know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we've, we've thought about it. I mean, we're, we're in the offshore space as well, yeah. uh, qualifying our service lifts. 3S does more than just the Climb Auto System. We're selling blade maintenance platforms, um, you know, uh, accessories, safety systems, rescue devices, self-retracting lifelines, these kind of things. Right now, our, our bread and butter is, is, is the lift, and that's really helping us get noticed on other, yeah, other aspects. Traction for everything else. Oh, sure. Yeah. Sure. So Joel and I had talked a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about technicians and getting some feedback from technicians, like how's it going out there? Yeah. And the real feedback was hard push. Yeah. Technicians are struggling, right? Yeah. It's hard. They are. And plus the cyclical nature of the business where you're working from spring to fall and then you got to find a second job sort of thing. Yeah. It's a tough yeah, life, a lot of, right? Yeah, a lot of the feedback was we're being asked to do what takes... 12 hours in eight because we're right. short staffed. Don't have enough people. Right. Don't have enough people. There's not enough hours in the day to get done. We have to do, but corporate won't give us extra personnel because of O and M. Right. Cost, right. People are expensive. Yeah. Equipment is not. That's but why I think the cost. lift makes sense, right? Yeah. I know. I think. I think. And that has taken time for us to convince some of those customers yeah. to yeah. to retrofit with our, with our. Unfortunately, sometimes. It's taken, um, you know, someone to pull a fire alarm. Like, oh man, we only have three techs right now, and we need six. And this has been right. going on for months. Yeah. We really need what something we, now. What's a stopgap? What can we do to fix this? Yeah, right. yeah. And, and that was, I think, you know, a year or two, a couple of years ago, that was happening. Now I'm seeing customers really get out in front and seeing oh, it. And I think it's a good thing. Like they're 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 looking at, um, you know. The, what the OEMs are doing, the OEMs are offering this product to their customers as well. Sure. We see some OEMs uh, offering an improved service rate, right? Really? Hey, Mr. Customer, we will give you a long-term service price here if you install a Climb Assist. We'll give you a service price here if you buy a 3S Lift Climb Auto System. Oh, that's that makes awesome. sense. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it all makes total sense. Makes sense. The, OEM, the OEM is going to benefit because they may be able to have a lower headcount at that site. Right. You yep. can do more with less. Right. Yep. Um, that that's a cost benefit. Yeah. And you know they're going to be more efficient and effective to meet their contractual availability demands right. and was, things like that. It was you know? like you had mentioned the the last climb of the day concept, right? Oh. Three p.m. climb. You know. Three p.m. climb. Yeah. The Saturday climb. There's some sites in um, you know some sites that aren't. Uh, we were talking to a customer that some small turbines. I shouldn't say small, small sites, four or five spread out. There's not a site office. They're not, uh, and it's common in Europe, right? Yeah, where very they're, common, where yeah. they're spread out. Europe mostly has services. Yeah. Um, we think that this customer is going to benefit from the retrofit because a technician who's mobilizing or deployed right away can get right to work, go right up tower, not, and maybe there's three or four things they need to do in each of those towers. They're not limited by climbing anymore. You know, there's a there's a benefit there too. Yeah, absolutely. So, 
Well, uh, this is really enlightening. I mean, some some of the things you and I have been hearing, Joel. Yeah, yeah. Or, Direct feedback. Uh, Geo's really feeding into that. This the same concept, right? That that uh, as an industry, it's going to be changing a lot. I, I'm, it's good to hear that operators and owners are starting to put the client model system in just to get rid of the technician issues. Getting to a couple of thousand units is big. Yeah. The, the best part now, Alan, is is our our team is gelling. The three S lift team is you know we've got a forty thousand square foot warehouse. Operationally, we need to support the industry, yep. and that means with uh, the right troubleshooting engineering teams, which we have, we've got the right yep. project management teams. We're going to be installing at fifty sites in the next eight months. Wow! wow. So that's fifty deliveries and fifty um, commissioning, fifty trainings on site. So we now have. You know, we have 40 technicians that install these. We, we leverage some partnerships with, but it's been fun to see um, sort of the fruits of our labor over the last couple of years grow and see our customers really, um, you know, be the beneficiary of, of what we think is just an, a, an awesome product. You know? Congrats on the hard work. Yeah, thank it's paying you. paying off, man. Thanks oh, yeah. for having us for, again. So yeah. how does uh, an operator owner find 3S Lift. What's the best way to find 3S? You can find us on LinkedIn. You can okay. find us at uh, 3SLift.com. Okay. Um, you know, I'm very active. I get, I, I think my, there's an in, info email address that comes right to me. Oh yeah. I dispatch <laughs> that to <laughs> whatever sales team we need to. So, um, yeah, we can, uh, you know, we're pretty active on the, on the web. So, yeah, easy, easy to get a hold of. Perfect. Well, Gio, it's great to see you in New Orleans. Glad you could make this show. This is fantastic. And it's great to hear the success of 3S Lift. It's fantastic. Yeah, thank you guys for having me again. It was awesome. Absolutely.